guys, welcome to another video of My Vida Loca. Today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna cook for you guys. I'm making cauliflower wings, and I wish I would have thought of recording sooner <laughs> um, because I actually just made my own flour. I didn't have all-purpose flour, so what I did was I grounded up oats to make this flour. Didn't get it too well in the corner, but it'll be fine. Um, you're gonna preheat your oven to 450. Um, and in the meantime, I'm creating the marinade for the cauliflower wings. So what you're going to do is have a cup of all-purpose flour or whatever flour substitute you want. Um, you're going to have half a teaspoon of garlic powder, which I just poured, half a teaspoon of paprika. You're going to have half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using the salt and pepper mix. You can put as much pepper as you want. It is to taste. And... After this, you're gonna combine the dry ingredients and then you're gonna go ahead and put half a cup of milk. Um, this is a vegan recipe, so we're gonna use almond milk, original, unsweetened, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. <laughs> chicken barbecue pizza so while the cauliflowers go in first since they're going to take a little bit longer um, I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken started. Here are my cauliflower florets. I had already cut them up yesterday put them in a little bag and I'm going to go ahead and rinse them off and then I dip them in the batter. So this is really simple all you're going to do is go ahead and put the cauliflowers into the batter. How thick it is. I'm hoping these taste good. Honestly, I've never tried this recipe for one and two. I've never tried making them with oat flour to so just coat them. Obviously, make sure your hands are clean. Put them down. <laughs> alternative to eating chicken obviously nothing's going to replace the taste of chicken when you're altering it with cauliflower but honestly they're pretty good my cousin actually la mesa vegana um, my cousin susan she is making food and she actually has some of these that she sells from time to time and they look so amazing and delicious. So you're gonna wanna pop those in the oven for about 25 minutes and you're gonna flip them once um, in between that. So here I got some free range chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it and we're gonna cut it up. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to be vegan, um, watch me become vegan, um, but I definitely try to focus a lot more on plant-based foods and finding alternatives there because if we can limit the amount of meat that we eat and the amount of dairy products that we eat, why not? But I'm not here for judgment. If you eat, eat whatever you want. I'm just here to kind of show you guys what I eat and a couple of healthier alternatives that I'm into. The pizza recipe itself is very simple. I'm using some pre-made pie crust, some barbecue sauce, some cilantro leaves, you can also use fresh, and some diced red onion. For the chicken, I'm thinking of like making it in that. That'd be weird. Let's just try it. Let's try something weird. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use some avocado cooking spray. These are looking great. So yeah, just go ahead and flip them. Sauce on top of them right now. This looks so weird. It doesn't have to be 
this thing cook because remember you're gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven with the pizza afterwards. but every crust is going to vary um, especially if you're making it from scratch so go ahead and just kind of look for it to turn a little bit golden brown and crisp and make sure that the meat is cooked through and you're all done all right so i'm going to try one of these mm. all right so honestly despite the fact that they look a little bit weird the seasoning is great. The sauce is so amazing. Obviously, I didn't make that sauce, but it's a really good option. They're pretty good. The pizza is looking great as well. It has to brown a little bit more, but you see the edges are rising up. Honestly, like I said, this dough is not the best. Also, right now is when you probably want to go ahead and add the cilantro leaves. My little helper, not helper. The pizza smells so good. I can't wait to eat all of this. So this is the pizza, how it came out. Honestly, smells so good. And it's the easiest pizza recipe. I mean, I guess if you're just using regular marinara pepperoni and uh, cheese, that's pretty basic too. But um, this one's so easy and it tastes very similar to California Pizza Kitchen's pizza, which is actually the reason that I made this. It's the inspiration. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. So this is what my plate looks like. I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm gonna cut small slices because again, it's just me. You guys might think I'm lying, but I was craving this and it's so good. Like the barbecue when you mix it with the cheese and then that little bit of onion and the cilantro flakes that are just like a nice little addition. And the chicken tastes really good too. Despite the weirdness, right, of it being oatmeal. That's good. Good, good. I'm gonna leave you guys. This is cauliflower buffalo wings, chicken barbecue pizza, and I'll see you guys in the next one.